Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's a uh, Tuesday afternoon. Oh, let's see, about 5:15 in the afternoon, and we had a really different type of day today. So I thought I'd just uh, make a video to tell you kind of some of the stuff you run into that uh, you normally wouldn't run into if you weren't in the Philippines. Okay, it started out. Uh, basically uh, yesterday when uh, we went to town because we were going to drop Andoy off in order that uh, he could go back to Mendenau so he's got to take a tricycle to uh, Ubai and then from there uh, a V-Hire or something to Hogna and then the boat to Mendenau but when we got to the bank it was offline so the ATM was offline which means no money <laughs> that simple and Ed. so really nothing we could do got in the car drove back home uh, it was just one of those type of coincidences where if I cannot access my money through the ATM but not a chance so today Tuesday we left about 930 this morning the same agenda <laughs> we took Hondo into town so uh, he could, uh, again, go to Mendenau, got to the bank, and it was offline again. <laughs> and it's been offline all weekend up to Tuesday, and they have no idea. The word we got was, well, there's a technician coming up from Tagbalern, I guess. <laughs> So there we were, <laughs> no money, nothing to do anything with, so headed back home, and uh, thank heavens, Beth has a piggy bank here, and so she pried it open and grabbed a thousand peso bill, and Beth and I headed to Tubagon. It's the only place we know where there's ATMs working where I can use my card in order to be able to get money out of my bank account. <laughs> so, away we went. We got a V-Hire in Burgos here. And it's about an hour, oh, let's say 50 kilometers or so, which is about 30, 35 miles. And if you're not familiar with the V-Hire here, it's basically like a new van with four to five seats. can say, oh, anywhere from 12 to 8 excuse me, 18 people, and they run it up and down the road here from Taliban to Tagbalaran all day long. So if you want to get a ride, that's uh, probably the nicest way to go. They're air conditioning, so it's a nice, comfortable ride. And that, Or you can take the bus, and the bus is less expensive, but I don't think it's anywhere near uh, as good a ride as, uh, as the V-Hire is. But one thing about the V-Hire, they stop to let people on any place, anywhere, and they stop to let people off any place, anywhere. So that 30-35 uh, kilometer trip takes at least an hour and maybe a little less or a little bit longer depending on how many people are getting on and off in between. So yes, we made it to Tubigan, which is halfway between here and Tagbalaran were able to get cash out of an ATM there. So that's the good news. And even better news, we went to McDonald's for lunch. Hmm. And we hadn't been there since the Jollibee opened here. So it was kind of a good comparison. And I hate to say it, Jollibee's, but uh, McDonald's has got you beat. The food tastes better. Better offerings. The french fries were better. I hate to admit it, all we got in Taliban here is the Jollibee's, but uh, the McDonald's in uh, Tubagon, like I said, wow, that was definitely a treat. And because where I get my money out of uh, in, the, in the States, and that I was able to actually get it twice during the daytime because uh, it's midnight, it crosses over midnight in a new day in the States. So... Like I said, the good point of it is we did get cash. So tomorrow, 
Andor will be able to go back to Mindanao. But that's kind of the funny day we had. Starting at 9.30, 10 in the morning, we just got back home 5 in the afternoon here. That sucks up 7 hours of our day. And pretty well wore both Beth and I out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, why there's no other videos of, uh, of the farm and what we're doing here today uh, Doro actually uh, took off the day so he had something else going on so uh, decided to take the day off so I guess there was really no loss all the way around but those are the little things that happen here that kind of upset the apple cart that you are so used to just uh, not happening in the states there may be one ATM out but there's so many of them all over the place that no problem uh, Taliban has one that I can use and if that's not online running I just gotta wait and I'm out of luck and if it hadn't been for Andor wanting to go home we probably would have waited a few days and see if it would have worked and and that but uh, we also need to pick up animal food so having some cash on hand we usually carry a little bit on hand but this was just one of those circumstances where didn't plan ahead quite far enough <laughs> so we kind of learned our lesson a little bit because you never know it's just like over the weekend we lost electricity saturday we lost electricity on sunday now this on tuesday those are the little things that happen here that kind of frustrate you, yeah, and then get you angry and everything else at the system here and that. And uh, I don't know if you ever get used to them, you know. I don't think I do. They still kind of aggravate me when they happen because now we had to run out of our way and go to Tubigon and back, and even though we did have a good McDonald's meal. I, that I say that was worth it <laughs> just to be able to do that. So everything works out in the in the long run by the time we wake up tomorrow morning we will kind of forgotten about it and uh, yeah i was there we had a good day yesterday and uh got got a couple groceries too we're able to pick up some cheese down there that we haven't been able to pick up they got a bq mall there in to begun so we were able to do a little bit of shopping there nothing spectacular every once in a while when you go there they have stuff that you really don't get anywhere else but uh, this was not one of those times and uh, traveling in the V hire like I said uh, it's a quick what we call a quick and easy way it's air conditioned in order to get down there and back and uh, with the way our multi cab is it gets as far as Taliban and I'm happy whenever it gets home <laughs> that's that's kind of the way that goes it's on its last leg and <laughs> kind of limping right now but Hopefully, like I said, that uh, we'll have good news coming up. Just keeping my fingers crossed that our house in town is going to sell and that we get an offer on it. So just wanted to kind of update you on what we did today and something that absorbed our whole day that we, we hadn't planned on at all, period. And just uh, those are the occurrences that come up here that you kind of got to work around. And that's part of life here in the Philippines okay <laughs> so i hope i hope you enjoyed this little update and that and uh thanks for viewing uh like and subscribe and i just surely hope that god blesses every single one of you so even though through our travels today god has definitely blessed us again um uh, what more can i say it, it, it's a pleasure living here and dealing with the people here oh yeah there are those moments that we go through and sometimes more frequently than we'd like to but uh i don't know if you get used to it but uh like i said that's life here and you accept it and you get up in the morning and go on with another day so until another day i'm going to say goodbye for now